In this video, I'm going to show you the absolute best and fastest way to unclog even the most plugged up ears naturally without having to go through surgery. Coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Virtually everyone at some point in their life has experienced the sensation of having plugged up ears. Whether this was being caused by flying in an airplane, driving through the mountains in a car, or just having a really bad cold with some really nasty sinus congestion. But the one thing that we can all agree upon is that having plugged up ears really sucks. In fact, not only is having plugged up ears really annoying, it can also give you a hearing loss, and if you're really unlucky, it can be extremely painful. However, before I get into the explanation of what actually causes your ears to feel plugged and what you can do about it, if you could do me a huge favor and give this video a like, it helps out the channel immensely and it helps this video get recommended to a broader audience. Ultimately, there are a variety of different things that can make your ears feel clogged, but there is one thing in particular that is most responsible for this, and that is a negative middle ear pressure. To understand what a negative middle ear pressure is and how to fix it, it is a good idea to understand the anatomy of the human ear. The human ear has three main parts, the outer ear, the middle ear, and the inner ear. The outer ear is comprised of your auricle, ear canal, and your eardrum. The middle ear is comprised of the middle ear space or cavity, the ossicles, and the eustachian tube. The inner ear is comprised of the cochlea and the vestibular semicircle canals that control balance. The middle ear space is a cavity that holds air, and the pressure of this air is regulated by the eustachian tube, which connects the middle ear space with your throat. If the pressure in the middle ear gets too positive or too high, a normal functioning eustachian tube will equalize this pressure by letting air out into the throat when you swallow or yawn. If the middle ear air pressure becomes too negative or too low, a normal functioning eustachian tube will equalize the pressure by letting air into the middle ear space when you swallow or yawn. Ideally, you want the air pressure in this middle ear space to be equal to the outside ambient air pressure. If the air pressure in your middle ear is not being properly regulated by your eustachian tube, then it will lead to either a positive pressure which will push on your eardrum, making it bulge towards your outer ear, or a negative middle ear pressure which will suck your eardrum in towards the middle ear space both of which can cause a significant amount of pain or discomfort. In general, it is much easier for the eustachian tube to regulate a positive pressure to bring that pressure back down than it is for it to regulate a negative middle ear pressure by bringing the pressure back up. Let me give you a quick example. When you go to the airport and you hop on a plane and that plane starts to take off, you are increasing altitude. And so what's happening here, you are increasing the positive pressure inside of the middle ear space. In this circumstance, it is usually very easy just to swallow or yawn to let this buildup of positive pressure escape out of the eustachian tube to equalize the middle ear pressure with the ambient air pressure. However, after you've been cruising for a while at this higher altitude and you've regulated the middle ear pressure to where it's equal with the ambient air inside of the cabin of the airplane, when you start on your descent to go land, what's happening here is that the outside air pressure is increasing, but the pressure inside of your middle ear space is staying the same. This is creating a negative middle ear pressure and that outside air is pushing in really hard on your eardrum and unless you can regulate that pressure by getting air to go through the eustachian tube back into your middle ear space, it's going to cause a lot of pain. The problem of a negative middle ear pressure when you're descending on a plane is made even worse when you have a swollen eustachian tube due to a cold or sinus infection because it no longer has the ability to easily regulate this middle ear pressure. Another quick side example when you're flying in a plane, if you've ever taken a water bottle on a plane with you and you kind of put it in the seat back pocket, when you go up in the airplane, you notice that that water bottle expands and you actually have to open or twist the lid open a little bit to allow that 
pressure to escape. And then when you go and you land and you take that water bottle back out because you've arrived at your destination, you notice that bottle is really crinkled up. And that's because of this air pressure change. You can think of that water bottle like your middle ear space. So what do you do if you have this negative middle ear pressure that you cannot regulate and it actually gives you this plugged up sensation, it makes your hearing worse, and it makes your ears extremely painful? Well, that's where my secret weapon comes into play, which is the Eustachy. Now, this is not a sponsored video for Eustachy. They have no idea that I'm doing this video, but this little tool right here can fix almost every single case of negative middle ear pressure out there, and I have failed at this point to find one particular case where it does not work. That being said, the Eustachy is a tool that has been designed to eliminate negative middle ear pressure by pushing air through your Eustachian tube into your middle ear space. It does this by creating a gentle stream of air that comes out of the tip of the Eustachy there, and when you push this little button right here, it has a flow of about 5 psi. Step one is to put the tip of the Eustachy with the hole up to your nostril on the affected ear side. Step two is to push the button to start the flow of air. Step three is to plug your other nostril with your finger. And step four is to swallow, which gently forces the stream of air from the eustachy through your eustachian tube and into your middle ear space to eliminate the negative pressure. It really is that easy, and it even works on the most stubbornly clogged ears when swallowing, yawning, and plugging your nose and blowing don't work. I've even run numerous objective tests of the Eustachy inside of my clinic using tympanometry on patients who have chronic negative middle ear issues, and every single time I test it, I can see that the negative middle ear pressure shifts over to a more neutral pressure. Now again, this is not a sponsored video for Eustachy. I get no commission if you decide to go and purchase the Eustachy, but if you want to get a Eustachy, you have to go to CVS. That is probably the quickest way to pick yourself up a Eustachy tool because you can just drive over there right now, go get it, solve the problem, be done with it, or you can actually order them online. And I will link in the description of this video where you can go to actually purchase online. The Eustachy does cost about 60 bucks, but it is worth every penny if you have chronic negative middle ear issues that is making your ears feel plugged up. I should also say that not all clogged ears are actually caused by a negative middle ear pressure. So if you have no luck trying to clear your ears with any of the other methods that you can use to clear your ears, and you do not have luck with the Eustachy, then you should absolutely go and see an audiologist or an ear, nose, and throat physician to find out why your ears still feel plugged. And finally, if you do want to learn more about the different causes of having plugged ears outside of just a negative middle ear pressure, I highly encourage you to check out my video that I will link in the description. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. If you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.